Live at five, it's off review. We got a bunch of stuff starting tomorrow. So you're gonna wanna have your hoarding ready. In addition, we'll be getting an Omega Red event, finally. And then also there's going to be two new ISO 8 hard campaigns, chapter one and two. So if there's three events starting tomorrow, want to use power cores, training orbs, and ISO 8 energy. And there's a couple offers for ISO 8 energy. If you buy them on the web store, we'll talk about it. And you can save them until tomorrow. I know a lot of people have saved their, uh, their battle pass and they're going to use that as well for the ISO 8 energy. Now, this was something uh, where, you know, dare, dare Scorpio, screw your horde meta. And they're talking about how they were busy. And then they lost out on the raid credits and teal gear orbs, which feels awful. Customer support doesn't even bother to respond to my tickets anymore. So yeah, that's an issue uh, for sure. Um, the thing about the raid season, which just ended a couple hours ago, uh, if you don't collect this, it just disappears. Now, also, I highly suggest not saving anything past 15. So you can see right here, and this is just from like an hour ago today. Um, I've already collected like 15 through 36. The first 14 have this currency here, which they have in the past used for surprise events. It's been a while and I believe that I collected this several days ago uh, when it was clear that there wasn't going to be an event because nothing would be worse to like not collect this stuff and then have it just disappear like it happened yesterday. Also, back in the blog on the 19th, which is almost a month ago, 519, uh, they said that the end of season rewards will set your roster ablaze with progress and none of this stuff is there. Uh, I mean, I just got my end of season rewards today and I got, I got T4s. So um, I'm, I'm curious on where all of this is. I did put a note into developers, probably won't hear back until tomorrow. Uh, so there's been some controversy and we talked about this in another video. Do not my share my personal info was on the website and this kind of pissed me off a little bit because uh, I went in game and turned it off. now. It does say in the messaging, which is hard to read. Like, I don't think most of us read it. I know I don't read that stuff, but it did disclose that there was a separate place to turn off on the website. So this is kind of annoying when you log on to the Marvel Strike Force website and you come all the way down here and then you see privacy policy underneath that. It says, do not sell my personal information. And then I had to turn this off. Uh, I don't mind the cookies because that allows me to stay in, but I share or sell of personal data, uh, you have to go and confirm. So if you don't want your information sold out there, I would uh, definitely go and do that on the website. It's kind of feels bad. And I don't know about anybody else's jurisdiction and your regional laws. Like I have no idea how that works, but I know where I live in Nevada, there's nothing I can do about this. I don't think we have the kind of privacy laws that they have in Europe or even California. So it is what it is. Now the Marvel Strike Force Reddit is already closed. It's already the 12th at the time of the making of this video. It's, well, for me, it's the 11th, but it's the 12th somewhere. Well, you know, I'm in, I'm at the end of the world. So this has uh, uh, already been disabled and the Marvel Strike Force will be joining the Marvel Reddit's blackout from June 12th to 14th prote protesting Reddit's upcoming API changes. And so this is kind of a nuanced conversation, but this would definitely restrict the functionality. Uh, the moderation team last night decided to add our subreddit to the growing list of subreddits that will be privatized uh, from now into the 14th and protests of Reddit's upcoming changes. Now, uh, I've, I've heard from several of the moderators on Reddit, they're always looking for more Reddit mods if you want to become a moderator. You absolutely have the opportunity to do that. Uh, the post will be short. Uh, this post will be short. You can find great explanation of the issues. The short of this is that the planned API change will kill third-party apps like Apollo and Rift, making it harder for moderators to mod, special to need Redditors to use the platform, and can lead to popular features like RAS and old Reddit to be eventually disconnected. Well, they're trying to control ad revenue, and so they're going to restrict access to the API, which is like 
I don't know how to explain what API is easily. You have to Google what API is, but it allows them to pull data from their servers. Like a computer can, like the computers talk to each other directly uh, is the API is the only way I could describe it. Uh, so the Reddit is shut down. So all these images that I'm looking at here today from Reddit was from before they shut the Reddit down. The, so the subreddit, so no salt for two days. Can you live without salt? My goodness, I'm sure Discord, there's a lot of function that happens on Reddit will I'm sure be pivoting to Discord. Take care of your existing fan base. You're not gonna get posts like this tomorrow. You won't know what you're missing until you don't have it. Oh my God, right? <laughs> well, we'll see. I'm sure we could do without for a couple days. I think it's a good idea. I'm starting to feel like Scopely is like a cable company. Oof. Uh, they both have new and ex exciting incentives to draw the new customers while screwing over their existing one. Raising rates while customers get months of free cable. Free installation while I get charged for someone to come out and check your internet all the while. They both try to get you to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. There's another way of saying, give me your money, more money, more money. I went from uh, level 90, 95. I'm sure 100 will be, will be next. This is where the big money will come from, says the greedy man rubbing their hands together. Yeah. Well, they got to keep, got to keep people busy. You can't let them get bored, right? I'm sure the difficulty is trying to please everyone. I'll ask you to remember the ones that has been on this journey, ones that play daily and the ones that pay their bill monthly, the one that pay your flawed events, the one that reach in the wallets and say, here you go. Uh, and I understand the need for the developers to keep, you know, the, the top spenders, you know, from getting bored. I mean, that's like one of the cardinal sins of mobile gaming is allowing your, 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 your best customers to be bored. The problem that I have is, is that it feels like right now they're trying to squeeze the the moderate spenders the light spenders and the free-to-play players unnecessarily uh and they're i think they're really pushing a lot of the free-to-play players out and for no good reason they, they, it doesn't have to be this way you can make this game fun and pleasant for people that want to be cheap to play or free to play adjacent or free to play and uh because it's not like you're going to convert free-to-play players like if there's a free-to-play player that's been playing the game for five years uh, what you gonna, uh, does Marvel Strike Force? Does Scopely really think they're going to convert them now? And so, why make the experience for them absolutely miserable? Uh, it doesn't make sense to me. Fix the scrolling issue in the store already. And this is a very old message from Archangel on one of my Twitch streams. Flash from the ability upgrade and auto scroll are both bugs. They'll be fixed soon. And the flash thing is gone, but the scrolling is bugged, and so is the the calendar that shows up for no reason. There's an offer right here for Cersei and Icarus. Again, the best information I could get on actually what is in this offer is on the web store. So you can see there's equal chances of Cersei's and Icarus shards. And then there's also a chance at a six Icarus, a five Cersei and a four Cersei. Uh, someone asked me today if they should seven red their Icarus. And I did take my Icarus to seven stars, but that was six months ago. So I, I think someone could make a case saying, you know, what characters really need to go to seven stars. I'm not really sure, but I I feel like I've gotten a lot of use out of a seven red Icarus. Uh, if you've got extra resources, go for it. You know what? What you know? What can I say? Go for it. And then also, um, I know this is an, a material that is in scarcity for some players. I personally don't need any of this type of material. I think I got two hundred thousand of these. But if you're looking for uh, purple T3s. This is the best price I've ever seen them for, 5,000. And typically, like for 10 bucks, you would expect to get 100 T4. So there's reasonable value on here, plus 100 dark promotion credits and six red stars offer. Uh, six red stars is fine. So this is an okay offer if you need uh, the purple T3s. And then we've got an invaders. Um, I'm finding that I can get through with a minimal team, even on difficulty 1.5. But if you're looking to have better success inside the raids there you go and then lastly there is an event tomorrow for uh the green iso energy if you do buy this you know buy it right before because the event won't start until this event expires so there's two things you could do you could buy this at the last minute and just let the energy sit or you can buy it on the web store and if you buy it on the web store uh then the offer will sit in your inbox and then you can collect it tomorrow for uh, the event that'll be starting tomorrow. Lastly, just wanted to say, I really hope you liked this video today. Uh, because if you did, you're in luck. 
for every single person that likes this video, you will be getting for free two eight star Batmans kissing them, kissing each other, kissing themselves. Can't unsee this. Is that Wolverine or is that two Batmans? Can't unsee it once you've seen it. All right, bye for now. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye. What's up, China?